Welcome to day one of photo of my Photoshop masterclass for beginners. Today we're going to touch the following introduction to Photoshop and the objective will be to familiarize ourselves with Photoshop interface and the basic tools. As part of today's content, we will have an overview of the Photoshop workspace. I'll be looking at the menu bar, option bar, tool bar, and the panels. We are going to understand the different file formats which include the PSD, GPA, and PNG. We are going to learn how to create a new document and open a 16 file. And you will be introduced to basic tools such as the move tool, selection tool, text tool, and the crop tools. Then we will have a practice, a simple practice uh, where we have to create a new document explore the tools, then we'll save our work. To start, um, once you open your Photoshop application, it takes you to the home screen. Here you see your recent file. And if you don't have any, you'll see the options to create a new file or open existing file. Now let's have an overview of the workspace. On the left hand side, you have your toolbar. And just above your toolbar, you have your option toolbar. And these options are tied to the tool selected in the toolbar. For example, once you have selected the tools, you will observe that the option bar changes. Any tool you select, the option bar changes. Just above the toolbar, you have your menu bar, which ranges from the file, edit, image, layer, selection, and so on. All this menu have a submenu, and once you select any of them, next is the panel, which is at the right hand side of your workspace. And this will vary based on the settings you are working with. For example, you will go to the window on the menu bar and select workspace and change the settings of the panel by selecting any of this. By selecting any of this workspace setup. Next, the next is your document window, which is called the canvas. This is where you create your design, you paint, you create your logo, or you edit your pictures. That's what we are going to look at during our sample, our, pract our simple practice at the end of today's class. The next thing we're going to talk about is the different file formats in Photoshop. Firstly, let's talk about the PSD, which is the Photoshop document. This helps you preserve your file for re-editing. And you can save this file type in other file formats. You can save to JPEG, you can save to P PDF, you can save to other file formats. Yeah. So, the next is the JPEG. This which is mostly used by all kinds of device um, because of the image is an image format called image format. High quality photos are saved using JPEG and um, will make use of smaller it it makes your file smaller and support all color modes. The next file type is the GIF which is used to save web graphics, right? It's for web, it's a web graphic, graphic format, where you save your file and can be used on the web easily as it will retain the quality of the image. We also have the PDF. You can as well save your image to PDF format. And this can be shared with anyone that has an Acrobat PDF reader. 
and they will be able to access the file. We also have the PNG for image with transparent background. All right, it's called the lossless image format. Now, now we know the various type of um, format, file format we can save our image. The next thing we need to talk about is how to create a new file and how to open an existing file. To create a new file, you go to your home page and click on new. You can choose to select from the available preset or create your, yours to suit your project. By coming to the right hand side and adjusting the width, height and resolution um, to your taste and play with them and play with the settings right here to then you click create you can also assess this preset by coming to the file then new or you can use a shortcut key by pressing ctrl n the next is to open an existing image or file if if you have a recent file you can Click on the home button at the top left hand side of your workspace and here you can see your files if you have worked on any recently. Then you click on it to open it. The other way around this is to go to your file menu, go to menu, file, open recent, then you look for the file name or you go to file, open then you search for the file name. You can also use the shortcut here by using Ctrl O. Finally for today, I will introduce you to some basic tools in Photoshop. Now this move, these are move tools, the quick selection tools, the laser tool, the crop tool and the text tool. Each of these tools have similar tools grouped together under each. So by clicking on this and holding it down uh, at this corner where you see this arrow, it will reveal similar tools to the selected tools. Now we're going to create a document and explore some of these tools that we have saved. Okay. okay, let's use this image to explore some tools then save our work. We can use a text tool and write happy R. We use our move We use our move tool to move the text to where we want it. Then we use our crop tool to crop the image like this. Now we can save our work and that brings us to the end of today's class. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. If you have any questions, please drop on the comment section and it will be addressed as soon as possible. You can also assess all the beginner's guide to Photoshop using the link in the description. Thank you and see you in class tomorrow.